first and ten. Watson. This complete to David Bell. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball. And unfortunately, there it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. Touchdown, Browns! Kareem Hunt from 19 yards away. And the Browns have taken the lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him down. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. And he is out of bounds here on the return. The Falcons ready to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Mariota's throw taken in by London. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Mariota now. This went into the hands of Pitts. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. And man, Charles, talking about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. They'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And this is caught. 
And they've got the lead here in the fourth. Could have been up one with a point after, but they go for two. And it worked. It almost seems like they're trying to set an identity, doesn't it? We're going to be one of those teams that every time we get a chance to put extra points on the board, we will. Because really, it's minimal indifference, right? Whether you're up one or two, the field goal can still get you. Oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Browns set to take over. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference, the call there always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first, but this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. Faking the give, now Watson. Bell brings it in across the formation. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. On first down, it's Watson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And next time, Brandon, I think you might want to consider running it because those defensive backs, they were plastered to the receivers, and they weren't letting up as that play went on. The Browns on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he'll hit the slam route. That's caught by Cooper. First down, they'll run with Chubb. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second down, here's Chubb again, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try the air now with Watson. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. After the sack on first down, Watson dancing away at the 35. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. A field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot, so what can they do to get closer now on third down? It's caught, Cooper. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 19. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. From the red zone now, Watson. He'll buy some time. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first timeout. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Watson, that one is caught by Hunt. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Desperation time, Watson on fourth down. On oh, a bad time late for a poor throw, it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the Falcons have just about sewn up this football game. Just when you thought this game might be turned on its ear, a late interception pretty much going to seal the deal. Yeah, boy, talk about having your backs to the wall. This defense, they look like they were in danger surrendering this lead, but they knew they needed that one play, and they got it right there, partner. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. <laughs> Throwing here, Mariota steps away. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Well, clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I think what we just saw their partner was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Now Mariota dancing to his left. Completes to Zacchaeus. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Mariota to throw. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Mariota to throw for it on fourth. He's got a man. It's Berkser, the tight end. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. Mariota here to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. 
Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially